and I'm doing it for my daughter. God is inside me, mm -hmm. fifth element. Mm -hmm. I learned that in the movie, The Fifth Element. Mm -hmm. And you just yeah. destroying it. Uh, I was thinking about me. We were talking about that too. Mia Jovovich, yes, like two days ago. She's so good. Because I was watching Zoolander. Uh, I just watched Zoo. That's crazy. And she's the I watched it with my friends when I was home. Sexiest she's woman so hot. ever in Zoolander. Yeah. She, she's in a bitchy mood and she changes her outfit all the time. Yeah. Really? Yeah. She was like a very iconic look. Yeah, she's incredible. When, and the fifth element was, I don't know, it was probably the best introduction for jocks to sci-fi. Mm -hmm. It probably brought a lot of jocks over to sci-fi. For sure. They like put the football sticks down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and they're like, fuck this, dude. I like fifth element. Where's my mm -hmm. fucking nerdy friends? I'm a cab, I'm a floating cab driver now. <laughs> yeah, dude, I want to fucking sing opera in a blue goose suit. <laughs> yeah, I can run fucking, you know, why chip trips why return but or i can fucking just sing opera on a stage with fucking chris <laughs> tucker with ruby rods <laughs> like in fucking airline fucking uh, airline attendance yeah no fly so you have to pull your shell shit down like a five-year-old called the no fly zone <laughs> yeah that's a no nah, that's a real thing mm -hmm. the no uh, fly zone have you seen curb your enthusiasm or do mm. you watch it no no there's an episode where larry david like sprains his dick because it gets caught in a fly of his boxers and uh, the doctor keeps telling him he has to wear no fly zone brand boxers. No shit. Because he, he broke his dick on it. Shit. Larry fucking, Larry David is just picking up all the fucking shit, dude. He's probably got you know, a 10-year contract making, what is it, Acornis? No, what, no, what's that brand that was just there that we just had? Oh, Ethica? Ethica. Yeah. He owns Ethica. Yeah, yeah, Larry <laughs> David owns Ethica. He's designing all that Yeah, shit. he knows you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's like, dude, uh, I need some cool designs. I don't know. Just put them on there. I don't want. I don't yeah, know. long I... ball. Yeah, he twists his balls. That's what happens. He gets testicular torsion. Oh God! Because his his balls get. That's how he. That happened to me. Yeah, you got that. Yeah, Incre that happened in the beginning of the podcast. Incredibly painful. Very bad. Mm -hmm. Yes. You lose your balls that way. Do you know what happens if you get constipated? What? Thank you so much. Oh, no, wait. My pleasure. Wow. You make lovely elves. You got my dry cleaning? Uh, five tomorrow minutes. after five. Hey, that was so nice of you to do that. Oh, you're welcome. To tell you the truth, I thought he was going to be more bowled over by your presence. He took it pretty calmly. People are always expecting someone bigger. I used to be very intimidated by that warrior princess. I got to tell really? you. Yes. And now? No, now that I see you in person, I actually think I could take you. <laughs> Look, I'm not a cool guy or anything, okay? I haven't been on a date in 12 years, but I would love to waste your time for a couple of hours. <laughs> what do you think about that? Is that, can I do that? Is that possible? How okay. about that? Yeah. Have you been to Primo's? I've never been to Primo's. I hear that's great. It's really Is that good. Lucy Lawless? Right. Yeah. Well, you that's a know. hot blonde Australian girl that Who, them to get. Hit, uh, us, hit Escape, what's the title, sir? Ted, Ted Danson. I, I do love this uh, part. Yes. Oh, oh <clears> really? Hey, how are you? Hi, how you doing, man? You know uh, Lucy Lawless? Yeah, we met. Oh, it is. Lucy Lawless. There you go. Me too. Um, well, okay. All right. Hi. <laughs> what is that? Call me? Did she just do a call me? Yeah, she did. We're going out to dinner. Really? Yes. Well, yeah. I asked her for a date. Here's what I said. I'm not really a cool guy or anything. Which is a pretty good line, I thought. Yeah. I never did that when I was dating. Admit that I wasn't a cool guy. Now I didn't give a shit. I just said, I'm not a cool guy. Fuck, it worked. I'm not a cool guy. I'm going to use it all the time. Good for you, man. <laughs> Thank really. you. Good for Thank you. you. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, you deserve that. They do a really funny bit. I think it's with Ted Danson where um, Larry's like, yeah, he's a nice guy. Just... I can't stand him. Everything's heaven with that guy. Oh, yeah. yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. And then yeah, Ted Danson yeah. comes out and he comes out. He he's, comes outside and he's like, Hey, Larry. Nice day, huh? Ah, heaven. <laughs> heaven. Like, oh, it's the, like the weather yeah. is making it heaven. Yeah. So anything, anytime there's like a good like bowl of pasta yeah. or like a, a good song, he's in heaven. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. I kind of like that. Though. That shit's funny to me. I, you, don't, you don't watch Curb at all? I've, I watched it. I've, I've seen like, 25 episodes of it i'll watch okay. it if it's on i'm just not like a i i get mad at people's who, it's too much is it's it? like there's there's like fu there's like a funny it's like a collection of funny bits mm. but then there's just too much sifting through waiting for the funny bits to happen and it's also like if you've seen five of them you've seen enough yeah, yeah. I, I, that yeah, it's when you, when you said when you said you've seen 25 i was like yeah 
that's, yeah that's enough yeah like it's it's cool it. like I, I think it's funny like i get the bit but it's like it's grailed like it's just so hype it makes me like upset with how much like everybody's like well that's clearly the top tier of comedy I'm like, is it because like i haven't seen it's always sunny yet because i know really? i know it's unbelievable oh wow yeah. i know it's oh I, my god i trust I the people that's... who have told me about it and it's so good that i don't want to watch because i'll get sick to my stomach that it's so no good. you'll just be happy Really? Yeah, Laker, yeah. can you go to um, YouTube and type in the Dennis system? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Always sunny yeah, Dennis yeah. system. Yeah, yeah I just, I, it's like one of those ones where I know, like, they're working their ass off. That's three guys being top of the market. Like, why is Kirby Enthusiasm funny? Because, like, Larry David's like, <laughs> what did you say to me? And it's subtle. Nah, and it's like, now, yeah. I, I think, I think Kirby's probably up there D. with, uh, it's always Demonstrate sunny. Demonstrate your value. In this most recent Hit case, pause for a second. This, so this guy's character, first of all, one of the funniest things about him is that he peaked in high school. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's when he was the most handsome and, and popular and everything. And so he's, like, he's like obsessed with, like, did I, did I peak in high school? Like, that yeah. kind of guy. He's always kind of, that's his callback. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And yeah. he's, like, uh, he's handsome, self-obsessed, narcissist, like, sociopath. Yeah. Who's, like, borderline gay. Like, he'll, he'll uh, a gay guy giving him attention will make him be like, oh. Yeah, yeah, I do look good today, like that type of thing. Yeah, yeah. It's really funny, but this is his his dating <laughs> women system at, at Play Laker. Really, <clears throat> a cute pharmacist. I demonstrated my value to her by filling a prescription. I told her it's for my grandmother. She's quite ill, thus demonstrating my value as a loving grandson and an all around great guy. <laughs> You're forging prescriptions now. That's the easy part, D. I would have gone in and bought a box of Magnum condoms, thus demonstrating that I have a monster dong. Right, that comes off a little bit desperate, Frank. Now, if you <laughs> want to have a Magnum condom peeking uh, out of your wallet when you go uh, to pay... Pause it real quick. That's a different... Another thing about Dennis is he is, like, the smartest, most suave person in the group. Yeah. So, like, he's constantly, you know, self-affirming that he's, like, this genius, like, perfect guy. Because, like, everyone else around him is just fucking... Yeah, I've seen, I've seen like, uh, like obviously, like I've never, I know what it is, you know, oh, but like, word. but like, I, yeah, I know. Let's it's, play the, play the, we gotta, we gotta wrap up soon. Right. We gotta play now, this though. Let's move on. Once you've demonstrated your value, you are going to want to ask her out. Once you've asked her out, you move on to E. Engage physically. I personally try to engage the girl physically without ever going on the date, which to me is really just a waste of time and money. I'll tell her I know this great little restaurant doesn't take reservations. That makes it sound cool, makes it sound exclusive. And then when we get to the restaurant, the restaurant is closed, as of course it always is on Sundays. So I'll feign surprise and say something along the lines of, well, I guess we could grab a pizza and watch a movie at my place. That's where I come in. Oh, you're a part of this? Oh yeah, Mac has a very special place in my system. Yeah, you see, I'm on the couch when they come in and ask to be alone. And I see I can't go into my room because I found a black widow spider in there and the dentist fires back that he wants some privacy so that they can get to know each other more better. And then I say, oh, well, I, I guess we could always eat the pizza on my bed and watch the DVD in my room. And once we're on my bed, it is game over. I engage her physically and the sexual waltz begins. Pizza's good. You're the one that's good. <laughs> <laughs> smooth very very smooth stuff very classy i'm learning a lot from you right now dude okay now once you've had sex with the woman she will naturally start to depend on you okay all women do this they certainly do you got that right sex right here, with right. women once you bang them like that right right which brings me to the first n Nurturing dependence. You're gonna to want to nurture that dependence that she's feeling on you now, guys. Have her car towed, or you can slash her tires. <laughs> Either way, make her depend on you for rides. Or you can use my personal go-to, which is to create a fictional angry neighbor who's threatening her and tell her you'll take care of him. Hit up a payphone so that she can't trace the calls back to you. Give her a call and say something along the lines of, I'm watching you. Bitch. <laughs> You're gonna die tonight. <laughs> oh, for Christ's sake, you're a complete sociopath. Don't interrupt, okay? Now, if you've completed all the other steps properly up to this point, she'll naturally want to take the relationship to the next level, but you're not gonna do that. You're gonna do the exact opposite. Pull back, guys, pull back. 
Which brings me to the second N. Neglect emotionally. I mean, stop taking her phone calls. Cancel all your plans. Maybe that fictional angry neighbor that you've simulated comes back. And this time, you're not around to cool him off. Hello? Welcome to hell. <laughs> 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 this will frighten the shit out of her, okay? And she'll start getting really mixed up because you're not there to protect her. She'll start questioning her self-worth, start questioning her, her self-esteem. And that's the perfect time to I inspire hope. In Kaylee's case, I went to her window and I screamed, Kaylee, listen, listen, wait. I want to tell you that the reason I was distant is because I was afraid that you were going to break my heart. And I got scared. Uh, I'm not scared anymore, baby. I love you. I need you. And then, naturally, we bang. And this is the best bang of all because it's very emotional for her. You see, she thinks she's broken through my tough exterior and coerced affection from a man who was afraid to love. <clears throat> and then I slink out into the night, never to talk to her again. Separate entirely. Yes, Mac. That's right. I S. Separate entirely. It's a good show. It is a good show. I'm sure. I don't doubt it. Yeah. I fear it. Trust me. I. I, yeah. uh, I know. I know. You'll have a good time if you watch that. I will. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I've been watching a Letter Kenny. What's that? A, a Canadian show mm. as a case study. Who doesn't need my praise? It's got 11 seasons and it's like a Trailer Park Boys with its own vernacular. We don't have to get it's into good. it, but it's good. It's really good. That. Yeah. Yeah. It's good. Uh, Canadians are the fucking. We got a similar taste level, mm -hmm. and um, but it's good. It's a good show. Yeah. I've been watching a lot of t trying to watch things that are off the beaten path, mm -hmm. and, uh, and that's not off the beaten path. That's probably huge, but yeah, um, yeah. No, it's just you see things that are like, I don't know. Just curb. Curb is just one of those things where you get lectured on how good it is, and yeah. you're like, okay, yeah. I hate that. I fucking hate anything that's like that good. Or just everybody pours in. I just get in a revert. I get like you. You get like that. Oh yeah. When people like everybody tells you you have to do it, so you don't do it. I get antsy. Yeah, I'm like, I don't want to hear. Okay, that. now then, for, you know what? Now I'm not gonna watch. like when I was yeah. like, you, like y'all. When I was like 21, everybody was like, well, Curb's clearly the best, right? And I'm like, fucking. What do you know, Uncle Gene? You're fucking, you're fucking drip. Well, that's why I didn't pay attention to my credit score for so long. It's because so many people were telling me that I had to. <laughs> yeah, yeah, 